Steve with American Ironworks. We're going to be testing our medium duty blue red iron sling this morning. We have 80 feet of 3 inch 1502. We're going to be pressuring it up to 15,000 psi in a nitrogen form. If you notice, we have this restraint half hitched on each side of every hammer union. That seems to do a lot better job than your rib and spine. We've never had a half hitch pull off of a fitting. We have machined a nipple down in this area right here to where the wall thickness of that nipple is around a hundred thousandths of an inch thick. Should fail at around fourteen thousand. We have our secondary retention right here in case something happens and the sling was to fail, it won't get too out of hand on us. Let's see how it performs. Ironworks. We just got through finishing a test at 14,500 PSI. I'll have to look at the camera and see exactly what it was, but I know it was above 14,000. We were testing our medium duty blue red iron slings. We have 80 feet of 3 inch 1502. And the medium duty blue performed very well. I'm very happy. One of the things that I'd like to point out that I'm, that I'm very proud of when you use the half hitch method like this versus the rib and spine when we were testing with the rib and spine recently each time on a separation that rib would pull out of the of the hammer union area here exposing however long eight foot of eight foot joint of pipe to where with this half hitch if you'll notice how it pulled right up against the hammer union here and also here that controls the end of that pipe. In addition to that, as far as, far as absorbing the load, look at, the, look at how tight the half hitches are along this area here. That sling is very, very tight. Right here, this hitch right here, which is 10 foot from the separation, is probably absorbed the energy up to this area here. And on this end over here, it looks like the sling is very tight all the way back to the second hammer union here, which would be 20 feet. It's very tight right in this area here. So, again, we're still absorbing the energy in a, in a 30 to 40 foot area, which really helps the strength of the restraint. But, what is nice is that we are capturing the end right here where the gases are coming out and controlling that movement to where you do not have that with the rib and spine. Like I said, every time we tested the rib and spine, the, the end of the pipe right here would pull out of that rib, exposing a 10-foot joint or more, allowing that whipping effect. So, pretty pleased with the performance of this system. Good test.